All right, guys, check this out. Uh, sometime last week, I ended up finding this stuff, uh, the back end of and a scope for some type of uh, gun peripheral. And I even said in the video that I don't know why they threw this stuff out, but not the actual gun itself. Well, I stopped by the bins today and ended up finding this. I asked for the rest of the gun and uh, I got it. It's from the Xbox 360. And uh, from what I can tell, I think it belongs to one of the Cabela's hunting games. Uh, I'm not sure, but what I do know is it's pretty obvious that these pieces go to this gun. And the sticks are in good shape, the buttons are springy, the trigger is nice and snappy. So I'm going to assume that this whole thing works. Uh, I don't know why it took them the course of several days to throw out this thing, but... Eh, whatever. I've got a free gun peripheral for my Xbox 360. Thanks a lot, GameStop. <laughs> oh, God. I love you, GameStop dumpster. You are the gift that keeps on giving. I've got a three... Oh, there's more in here. DS games. I wonder if they actually have games in them. That would be just... Still, I can't wait to take this home and test it. Yet another 360. Good lord. <laughs> oh man, what? This, uh, between Herbie and I, this is like the fifth or sixth Xbox 360 that we've come across in GameStop's dumpsters. It's just unreal. It's really dirty though. I have to give it a good cleaning. But, yep, yet another Xbox 360 Slim. And uh, a bunch of replacement cases, too. And uh, at the top of the list here, this Guilty Gear case is nice because I have the loose cart, so it's nice to have the case and manual, along with replacement cases for Final Fantasy III, Ninja Gaiden, Dragon Sword, Ultimate Mortal Kombat, and Rayman Raving Rabbids. But <laughs> as cool as that is, it, it can't beat yet another, another Xbox 360 console. So I'm going to give this a good cleaning, and then I'm going to test it out and see if it works. Well, looks like we, uh, oh man, we have a lot to go through today. It just keeps going. Holy crap, oh, man. I hope you find some good stuff. All right, so the first bag just had scraps from cardboard posters and displays, little bits and pieces. There was nothing special in there. Uh, but the second bag had all of these DVD display boxes. Well, display cases. You're probably thinking, why in the world would you want these? Um, I can always use extra DVD cases. Trust me. So I'll just take the artwork out of these and save the cases themselves. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. But let's see what we have in those nice big poster boxes. All right, so let's take a look at what we got in that poster box. Now, some people have complained that the poster portions of our uh, dive videos are a little too long, so I've already gone through the box. I threw out all the GameStop promotional crap, threw out the sports-related crap, and threw out all the little you know, bits and pieces. There were some ends that were torn from the poster sides. Tossed all of that, just kept the good stuff. So decided to uh, consolidate this portion. So, let's see what we've got. We have some end pieces here, plastic end pieces for Amiibo and Wii U. So that's kind of cool. Display box for Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Actually, quite a few of them, like three of them here. Rainbow Six Siege display box. Couple of vinyl two-piece uh, poster sets here, display sets for 3DS and Wii U. I'll be putting the Wii U one to use. Some huge uh, double-sided posters here. Mad Max, which uh, double-sided and it's really freaking big. Uh, along with, haha, Star Wars Battlefront double-sided monstrous poster. Now this one just looks gorgeous. A couple of posters for Just Cause 3, two of them. Just got to trim away this crap. 
a multi-piece display for uh, Battlefront, which this part just looks so cool on its own. No text, no logo, nothing. I am hanging this one up. Skylanders Superchargers. I don't really care about Skylanders, but I know some of you guys do. Star Wars Disney Infinity. Pretty nifty. Until Dawn. There was another one of these. It was completely ruined by tape. So at least I got one of these. King's Quest. It's a very nice looking poster. I'm probably going to find a way to like trim that off and then go down the, the same end. Kind of like shape it out a little bit. Because that just looks really cool. Destiny. Do people still play Destiny? I'm not sure. Small poster for Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns. This one's cool. It's got Forza, it's got Gears of War, then it's got the Rare Replay. I really wish that this were its own gigantic poster, because that just looks so cool. Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, only on PlayStation. Yeah, okay. God of War 3 Remastered. This one got a little messed up in the box, um, but I can always just trim down here and have a giant Kratos eye hanging up. That wouldn't be creepy at all, would it? Some Nintendo posters here, a little Battler's Experience, and Animal Crossing, Happy Home Designer, half and half. This one, probably one of my favorites from this haul. Super Mario Maker on one side. I'll have to flatten this out and fix it. And Yoshi's Woolly World, which my wife is so looking forward to. She's a huge, huge Yoshi fan. And finally, Code Duty Black Ops 3. I'm not going to get it. I haven't played Call of Duty in like three years. Um, so that's that. Lots and lots of posters. A lot of stuff that we haven't seen yet. Very nice stuff. And uh, I hope I kept this as short as possible, guys. This is what I got, and uh, I'm pretty happy to have found it. You know how a little while ago I came across this nice, clean box for the limited edition 25th anniversary of Super Mario Bros. Red Nintendo Wii? Well, GameStop wasn't content with just throwing this out. They decided to throw out another one. Because, yep, screw collectors, right, GameStop? Not much today in the bins except for this stack of Skylanders cards and codes. And what caught my eye initially was this foil card right here. It's all nice and shiny. I know next to nothing about Skylanders, uh, so I have no idea if these cards are worth anything. Uh, but I do want to thank our subscribers and other viewers who, in a previous video, pointed out what these codes were for. Because uh, at the time, Herbie and I had no idea what the codes were for. And uh, a lot of you ended up commenting and, you know, letting us know. So thank you for that. And uh, it looks like we have even more of these codes along with uh, a bunch of nice looking cards to boot. So that's pretty cool. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, check out some of our other ones. We make new videos weekly. Also, don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, and follow us on Facebook where we do random Steam game giveaways every week.